good schedule we got. This is the 13th season Oklahoma State has played at Boone Pickett State. <laughs> Do you still kind of marvel at this place, even though you've been here? here for I, is it 13? Well, 13th I, season. Yes. Okay, I didn't think it was that many. But, you know, I'm getting so damned old. <laughs> if you told me it was 20, I wouldn't argue with it. But, uh, sure, it's, it's still a thrill every time you come over here. And we have got absolutely the uh, best looking campus of any school in, in collegiate America. And it's just, you know, just the way it's laid out and the fact that you don't, I never had a car when I went to school here. And uh, I had no problems at all walking. And I'd kind of like to see now perimeter parking and no cars on the campus. I've tried that a couple of times. I've got no support, zero support. <laughs> But anyway, I just think we have a great place here. I think uh, Holder's done it. I think it's 10 years for Holder. As of uh, next week, it's 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, 10 years for Holder. And, and you know, we come a long way. Uh, and, and, you know, 10 years. Yeah. Well, 10 years for Gundy, too. Help me on that, I'm sure. I don't know. 11th season. 11th season. Okay. So, you know, we come a long way from. From eleven seasons back, and uh, I think we have a good year this year. I think we're going to win nine or ten ball games, and you know, if I, if I era, I think it'll be on the short side. I think we can win more than that if everything gets going and get momentum and confidence and everything else. Uh, I think we're going to have a good year. Yeah. You talk about how far you guys have come in thirteen plus years. What's left? What do you feel like is left to do for this program? Well, you know, you, you go back and, and what, 11? We could have played for the BCS championship and, you know, that field goal at Ames. You know, I was up there and saw it, and Jay Rosser was with me. Rosser said but that it was good. And, uh, so, but that's not what the official said. <laughs> so, anyway, if we'd, if we'd made that, we would have been in the BCS bowl of the final. So, I, you know, I hope we have that happen while I'm still around. And, uh, and, but, it's, you know, it's fun every year. Uh, and I, I look forward to, you know, a lot of fun this year. Boone, we saw you in spring come into practice, talk with Mike Gundy about your guys' repaired relationship. What has what the, the summer and now the fall been like? Have you guys communicated regulars? Regular well, I couldn't, I couldn't hear all of what you said, but it's about Gundy and me in, in the spring and all, yeah. Yeah, Mike uh, came down to Dallas, and we sat down and talked to him, about a three-hour talk, a little under, and uh, talked about a lot of things. And, and uh, I think I commented about the day I was up here at the practice, but uh, it was, it, we both agreed that, that the school was bigger than both of us, so whatever we liked or didn't like, uh, we didn't have any choice, we had to get along. And because uh, we got to win, that's number one for We talk every week now. So it's a very good relationship. What kind of things you guys talk about? Pardon me? What kind of things do you talk about when, when you talk to them? Oh, yeah, almost always about, you know, the team, football. He tells me how they're getting along and recruiting and, you know, keeps me up to date on everything, which is good. I like to be kept up to date. Anything he's telling you that he's not telling us that oh, you'd yeah, like right. to share? <laughs> <laughs> he better be telling me more than he's telling you. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's telling. He's got to tell us all the same story. I know that. He's not telling you one thing be something else. Uh, but he may not give you the same depth that he gives me on something. But I don't know that for sure. You mentioned the schedule and you like the home schedule. There's a lot of talk among the Big 12 that they need to toughen up the non-conference part of the schedule. How do you feel about that? I agree. I've always, you all heard me here, every year I want to I want to play somebody in the non-conference. Do I want to play three? No, I didn't say that. But I like that we played Mississippi State, what, three years ago, and then uh, Florida State last year. Oh, yeah. Tennessee are in there uh, banging it out today. I like that. But there weren't. That's about the only game uh, where you've got two teams. You know, they're what, 25 and 19 in the rankings. And, but uh, I, like, I like to see them. 
place I'm at, I'd like to go this year. But, I, you know, I thought Central Michigan might have a serious uh, football team. But we only beat them by 11 points. And so, anyway, all right, what else? You mentioned OU. Last year at this time you said that was something, the OU series was something you felt like needed to swing more in OSU's favor to be in your life and where you feel like that stands now. Well, the way we ran over them last year. <laughs> Were you the motivation for that? Nothing. <laughs> ran over them. <laughs> they, uh, you know, you win. When you win, you're happy, of course. And however you get it, we'll take it. Because you're going to get some that are not going to be. You're going to have the same problems that we did as a year four up here with them. And, uh, but uh, anyway, I, I think we'll, we'll be very competitive with those this year. And, uh, so, but, all right, what else you got? That makes a dollar ninety-nine for fuel now. What am I going to pay? You know, my neck stuck out on that. You know, and, uh, December 23rd, I was on CNBC, and they said, what about the price of oil? And I said, well, there's going to be a 1,000 rigs go down in four months. The uh, decline will come into the, to the uh, production in the United States. And I said, by the end of 15, we'll be $70 a barrel. And the other day, somebody said, now, how do you feel? And I said, well, I don't know. I said, there's an engineer and a geologist on a 10-story building, and they fell off at the same time. The engineer, more conservative guy, he goes by the fifth floor, and he said, well, I'm not dead yet. And the geologist went by the fifth floor, me, and I said, so far, so good. <laughs> so, so here we are. I'm getting, I can almost see the end of the year now. And, but I'm, I, I'm not dead yet. So far, so good. But I've got to get recovery in October, by the middle of October. I don't know whether I was right or wrong. And uh, so, but if I'm wrong, I'm going to be wrong by about six months. Did you go all the way through school here without a car? Yeah, I never had a car. Never had, what was your first car? Uh, I, you know, this is an interesting story. I never owned a car. Now, my wife did. Food pickers. Never owned a car until 1984. What? No, I had a company car. I understand that, but there was never a car that was primarily yours. Yeah, I own in my name. No, I didn't have a car in my name until 84. And they took cars away from us in Mesa. And, uh, and that's when I owned a car. I bought my company car. And, uh, but I'm not, I'm not big on cars. That's not... Uh, there are other things I like a lot better than cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Always leave the life. Next show in the